What's up guys, it's Josh back with another cyber news video. And today I want to cover a company called Okta, which is a authentication firm that may have been breached. So let's get to it. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I wanted to show you guys an article that I ran across about a company called Okta. And I'm very familiar with this company because I used to use it in a couple of my jobs when I worked tech support. And the name of the company is Okta and it's an authentication firm. And this is where I used to go to change passwords as well as update people's authentication accounts for the company network so they can access certain applications and tools. So let's hop over to the article and cover what's going on. Okay, cool. So as you can see, it says authentication firm Okta probes report of digital breach. It says a hack at Okta could have major consequences because thousands of other companies rely on a San Francisco based firm that manage access to their own networks and applications. And that's hundred percent true. And like I said, when I work in a tech support role, we had to use Okta for authentication and as well as setting up new employees to give them access to the network, they use Okta for authentication. And so, like it said in that subtitle, there are thousands of companies out here that rely on this technology in order to authenticate their users, whether they're remote or within the office. So let's scroll down and read a little more about it, but uh, authentication service provider Okta Inc. is investigating a report of a digital breach. The company said on Tuesday after hackers posted screenshots showing what they have claimed was its internal company environment. A hack at Okta could have major consequences because thousands of other companies rely on the San Francisco based firm to manage access to their own networks and applications. In a statement, Okta official Chris Hollis said the breach could be related to an earlier incident in January, which was contained, which is that's kind of interesting. And maybe they didn't have to report on that incident in January because it may have been contained like they stated. So they're bringing it up now, being that it may have been compromised, I'm assuming. So it says Okta had detected an attempt to compromise the account of a third party customer support engineer at this time said hollis uh, we believe the screenshots shared online or connected to this january event he said based on our investig investigations to date there is no evidence of ongoing malicious activity beyond the activity detected in january so i'm assuming they contained it and the hackers didn't get into the actual network uh, based on what they're saying. Uh, but you never know <laughs> with these guys out. I'm assuming they're still investigating it. But it says these screenshots were posted by a group of ransom seeking hackers known as Lapsus on their Telegram channel uh, late on Monday. In an accompanying message, the group said its focus was only on Okta customers. So security experts told Rotter the screenshots appear to be authentic. So I definitely do believe it is credible. So they're saying it is credible. So um, it could be that they have got into it. So they still investigating it currently. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see exactly what happens uh, with this. But let's read a little more. Uh, but it says, said an independent security researcher, uh, Bill Dermacopi, uh, citing pictures of what appeared to be Okta's internal tickets and its in-house chat on the Slack messaging app. So that's interesting as well. So uh, it says Dan Tentler, the founder of cybersecurity consultancy, uh, Phobos Group said he too believes the breach was real and urged Okta customers to be very vigilant right now. So that's definitely important for uh, anyone that runs a business that uses Okta to actually check this out uh, and see what's actually going on and make sure you monitor your network to make sure no one is actually getting into your network. Because like I stated, 
when I worked as a tech support specialist, Okta was heavily used for that authentication. And I remember going in and resetting people's Okta accounts. Uh, so that, and then also with Okta, it authenticates you to a bunch of different apps within the network. So let's say your company has a SharePoint, then you can access the SharePoint directly from there. And it's from one page. It'll, it's almost like a dashboard. Um, when you look at an Okta account and many of you guys are working tech and you probably have seen it uh, You can also get to your webmail from there and whatever other apps that are provided within Okta That you authenticate to actually bring up the actual dashboard The person will have access to if they get into your Okta account So pretty much be aware of what's actually going on so so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm trying to do more of these cyber news videos because I know it's a lot of people that are interested in getting into the cybersecurity field. And by working in that field, you'll be working with some of these issues that, are, that pop up in the news, you know, directly. So I wanted to at least get you in that mindset of staying aware of what's actually going on in the world because these cybersecurity attacks are happening pretty much on a daily basis and you need to keep up with it especially if you're responsible for protecting a network you'll see what applications are becoming vulnerable and you can help your company stay on top of it so again please like share and subscribe to the channel and if you're interested in supporting the channel i am on patreon as well as the cash app is down there below if you want to donate but i appreciate you guys sticking around and checking out this actual video but i hope you guys have a good day and of course keep it techy